Wild weather moves in this weekend. We start with a wind advisory. We end up in the deep freeze. Michael Kochasik, he's the warning coordinator from the National Weather Service in Louisville, joins us. Okay, Michael, what system is bringing these big weather changes in this weekend? So we have a big low pressure system. We call it a bomb cyclone where it just becomes massively low as it moves across the state. And that's why we're going to see that big wind, maybe some storm potential too, maybe a little snow and definitely that cold air coming in by next week. Okay. So this bomb cyclone, we're really going to start feeling the effects really tomorrow for Friday. So Friday we go under an advisory. What can we expect if a lot of people are starting to head into a long weekend? Sure. So we have very high confidence that you're going to see wind gusts between 45, 55 miles per hour, maybe even higher than that in some storms. So not a great travel day. If you're traveling in a higher profile vehicle, especially be very careful as you out on the roadways. And we're expecting rain too for Friday. So it's windy and rainy. Any flooding potential? Um, ponding the water is mostly what we're concerned with on the highways. So uh, it'll be like an inch or two. Kentucky's seen that before. So we're not really expecting any flooding, flash flooding like that. But if you're traveling with the wind and like you mentioned, the slick roadways with the rain, not a great travel day. So don't travel if you don't have to. But if you are, be extra careful. OK, the wind, the rain Friday. Then what happens on Saturday? So Saturday, that's when the cold air starts coming in. You might see a little bit of snowflakes Saturday morning, maybe a tenth of an inch or so. Nothing, not a big deal. But our attention is really turning towards Sunday night into Monday. We're seeing a lot of cold air coming in, probably the coldest since Christmas of 22. Remember that real cold air that came in? We're oh, going to yeah. see something very similar to that. Yeah, we're going to see zero degree temperatures, maybe wind chills up to minus 15, minus 20. So very cold. Be sure to bundle up. Mm -hmm. So I know that most of January's record low temperatures are in the negative number. So this may not be record breaking, but certainly cold enough to have an impact on a lot of plants, probably, too, like we saw a couple of years ago or last Correct. year. That box woods. Yeah, the poor boxwoods, they're not doing too good because of that cold temperature. So if you have any sensitive plants, you know, uh, try to protect them as best you can. But that cold is going to be a deep freeze. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. What about roadways, especially for folks maybe traveling on, uh, you know, you said Friday would be a bad day, but what about once those temperatures drop and there might be a few snowflakes flying? Sure. So there's a lot of uncertainty uh, for the next week's system uh, in the Monday Martin Luther King Day. We're seeing anywhere from we could end up with zero. We could end up with four to six inches of snow. So there's still a lot of uncertainty, and we recommend people stay current on their forecasts, uh, their, their forecast apps, or go to weather.gov and click on the map for our latest forecast information. We're still quite uncertain at this point, but there could be some impact, you know, across the area roadways, and if you're out and traveling about, it could be slick. Okay. Well, Michael, you stay warm. We'll try to do the same. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Christy. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. Here are a few things to keep in mind as the winds pick up and the mercury drops. Tomorrow's wind could cause power outages for some. Never run generators indoors. Leave faucets dripping to prevent pipes located along outside walls from freezing. Dress in warm layers and wear a hat and gloves. And last but not least, bring those pets inside and cover those boxwoods this time around.